Hello all, welcome to 15 months of coral growth in 30 seconds. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to thumb it up. I don't make a ton of these and it's fun for me to know that people enjoy them when I do. This is my system. It's a standard 75 gallon reef lit by T5 bulbs. I won't go into specifics here, but I do plan to make a video in about the next month that'll talk about all the details and all the equipment that's running this tank and what makes it tick. If you uh, want to see that, if you're interested in knowing those details, be sure to subscribe so that you'll be notified when I finally finish it. This tank has a camera mounted to the left side of the canopy. You can see that here. It's physically bolted so it won't move, and it's actually a Raspberry Pi running a cron job with a camera attachment to take pictures a couple of times a day. I take those files off the SD card and I stitch them together using a program for making time-lapse videos, and that's what brings us 15 months of coral growth in 30 seconds. This Raspberry Pi also has another task. It creates GIFs automatically showing me one week of growth, one month of growth, and two months of growth. This is really handy because if I think I see a coral bleaching, or if I think I see something growing weird, or if I think I see a coral dying back, I can relate back to one week worth of growth or one month worth of growth and see if I'm imagining it or if it's really true. At the end of this video, I'll share a couple of those with you as well. First, I'm going to show the growth video. And then I'll focus on a couple interesting events from the time period that we can see documented in it. And after that, I've actually got full tank shots um, showing this tank's evolution since 2015. So I'm going to flip through a few of those and show the journey that it's gone on. I hope you enjoy, and let's get started. Pretty cool, huh? I must have watched that video 50 times by now, and there are a couple of spots I'd like to point out. First, these two Pavona here are impressive growers, as well as this Digitata and this Monopore cap as soon as it pops its head out. Now, this guy here is a rather unlikely hero. He's on the complete other end of the tank from the camera, but he still boasts an impressive enough growth rate to stand out here. It's a really cool looking coral too. Now this is really awesome. If you look down here at the bottom of the tank, you can see a little war going on. The video starts out with this green plating monopora being far to the left of this digitata on the right that has fallen down there and encrusted and started growing. As time goes on, they start to grow together and most monies can touch, but apparently these can't because the green one grows completely around the digitata and starts to smother it and grow up. The digitata realizes that it's in trouble and tries to grow as fast as it can, but eventually can't outrun the intruder. I had no idea this was happening in my tank. It wasn't until I saw this video that I realized it happened at all. I've been super passionate about reef keeping for a really long time. What you're looking at here is my 180 gallon SPS reef. This picture was taken in about 2008, back when I used to live in Phoenix. I absolutely loved this tank, had it for years. Shortly after this picture was taken, the economic downturn of 2009 hit. The company I worked for closed. I went to school and changed careers and moved out to California. At that point, I tore this tank down. I went to keeping a small nano tank. It was freshwater planted. I was going to school, I was working full time. I didn't have a ton of money. I was in a new community. Couldn't really dedicate what I needed to to keep a reef. 
Now, fast forward to 2015. I'd been keeping a nano planted tank for a while, but I really wanted to get back into something larger. And my then girlfriend, who eventually became my wife and I, went down and picked out this beauty. It's a 75 gallon tank that I'm still running. At the time, I still had a small apartment. I didn't, you know, make a ton. I was in a new career. And I was going to school full time, so I didn't really have the time or resources to dedicate to a saltwater tank. In the meantime, I kept this discus tank. It was really nice, I absolutely loved it, kept it for about two years. Now we fast forward to 2015. My girlfriend that helped me pick out this tank had become my wife. I was living in a house, I had a much better job, and I couldn't deny the call of salt water any longer. This, in 2015, May of 2015, is the start of the 75 gallon tank that you see in the growth videos. Now we're going to flip through these photos a little bit. Like I said, this is in May of 2015. This is September of 2015. This is 2016 in March. This is 2017 in January. And this is 2017 in February. Now at this point, the tank makes a major change that I wanted to explain. So during this time, I'd been trying everything I could to keep this SPS tank quiet. SPS is my love, it's always been my love. I love the colors, I love the growth, I love the growth forms. But it is loud. You need more light, you need more flow, you need more fans, you need more cooling, you need, I mean, better filtration. They're just hard to keep these tanks silent. No matter how good you do, you'll always get a snail that gets jammed behind a pump and makes a bunch of noise. This noise has been bugging me and my family for a while. And at this point, I finally decided to make a drastic change in order to correct the problem. This next photo jumps forward quite a bit. This is 2018, January 1st actually of 2018. And this is the start of our growth video as a matter of fact. So you'll notice one major change here. I've removed the overflow and I've removed the sump. I decided to go a softy direction with the tank and I thought that that would cut down on the noise quite a bit. It allowed me to remove most, remove most of the fans. I went, I reduced the number of T5 lights. I have a just a simple canister filter with no sump and that means no splashing water, no overflows to get out of sink, no problems of any of this kind. And so I thought that this might, you know, keep it quiet in the living room for us while we're watching TV. We're going to jump forward here. This is February of 2018. Big difference there. You can see that some of the SPS that I sold off are actually starting to grow back a little bit. Um, you know, I guess they're hard to get rid of. Jumps forward to March of 2018. And then this jumps way forward to October of 2018. I didn't take a lot of pictures in the interim. And then this is May of 2019. This is the this is the photo of the tank as it currently sits. Now you'll notice that here in between the February and March pictures, the overflow came back and the sump came back. It wasn't because this didn't work. It was because the noise was impossible to control. I mean, there's no way that you can ever make a tank silent all the time. And snails would crawl into the pumps and they'd make splashing noises. Snails would get beside the pumps and it would rattle. And every tank makes some noise sometimes. It still had to have fans to cool it. And it just we just decided it was a better idea to move it into my office. My office, you can close the door and then there's no noise and you have control over it. So that's why this tank is actually starting to take a turn back towards SPS. Now that it's in my office, the noise isn't such a problem. And you can see that I've cleared the area of Xenia on the right hand side between these two photos because I'm actually preparing to put more acros on that side. So I'm really excited about that direction. The last thing that I wanted to show is the growth GIFs I had mentioned earlier. So this here is seven days worth of growth. See, it actually changed quite a bit for seven days. These are, uh, these are actually live on my website. Um, they're updated every day, so they're, they're brand new every morning. And um, if you ever want to go check them out, see if the tank's still operating, you can. It's kind of meant just for me, but you know, they're out there. This here is a month's worth of growth. And this here is two months, uh, 62 days if I remember correctly. Well, thanks for watching all. And remember, if you want to hear more about the system and find out what kind of equipment runs it, be sure to uh, subscribe so when I get that video done, you'll see it. Thanks.